you're watching this video, you're in for a treat. I'm going to take you on a guided tour of the Storybook House. The reason we call it the Storybook House is not only does it look like the centerfold of a magazine, but each space inside the house has its own unique history and a story to tell. And I'm going to share that with you today. Before we get started, there are three things about this house that I think really stand out. First of all, this home is not on a lonely mountaintop. It's not in isolation. Yes, of course, we've got views 180 degrees, miles to the horizon, but we're still in a gated community and your neighbors are close enough that you can walk over and borrow a cup of sugar. Second of all, we're on two acres of usable land. We've got avocado orchards, we've got citrus groves. You want an ADU? You can build it. You want to bring in horses? Be my guest. Third of all, the design and the quality inside this house are simply unmatched. You're not going to see this anywhere else in the world. So before we get going, why don't you take a quick look around and I'll see you inside. We have a 3,000 square foot home here, but what's amazing is the way this home is laid out. Every space in this house has a different feel to it. For example, this is the great room. In here, we've got a south facing room, brings in tons of light in the morning and when it casts across the floor, it just makes this place simply glow. Come the afternoon, the sun falls a little bit behind the house and you've got a great view out to the pool deck. All you need to do is open up the windows, the front door, and you've got a fantastic breeze rolling through here. Nighttime comes around, shut the glass, shut the doors, turn on your wood fireplace, and now you've got this cozy space to spend the rest of the night. You would think in a house that's had this much attention and detail put into it, that it would feel a little pretentious, that it might seem a little like a castle, but they've taken really good care to make sure that this felt homely, even though it's got the grand archways and the high ceilings. In fact, the floors you see here, these are the largest tiles that they could find, aside from making them by hand. Every item that you see inside this room, inside this space, is unique, but it ties together very well in a common theme you see throughout the entire house. For example, let's pan over here to the dining area. The same floors go from the living room all the way through the rest of the house. The wall that you see over here in the dining room, this is a hand-built wall. In fact, the person who put that in was a stonemason, and he originally wanted to have some help putting that wall up but he got halfway through it and he really just took it on as his masterpiece. It started to look so good that he didn't want to hand it off. And so he wouldn't let anybody touch the wall until he finished it. You won't find that quality anywhere else, but that rustic brick is tied in the kitchen, the living room, and even the master bedroom. Why don't you go ahead and take a look at the west end of the house. We've got a study, two bedrooms, each with their own bath and a laundry room. And afterwards, I'll catch you in the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. This place has so much to unpack. It's gonna take a while to get through it all. Let's start with the elephant in the room. When I say elephant, I mean this massive centerpiece that's on the island here. You might not know it, but this is actually imported teak wood from India. This came in as a table, a very large table, and they had it cut down to size and then antiqued in shape so it would be the perfect island for this house. And over on this end, it hangs off a little bit, so we've got our bar stools right here so we can actually eat at the, the center island. We've got, of course, these wonderful Viking appliances in here, top of the line, state of the art. But outside of those massive things, let's look at the details, okay? These light fixtures, you might not know it, but these were hand selected. They actually took these outside, <laughs> stripped them, weathered them a little bit to give them just a little bit of rust and then mounted them so they have that antique kind of cottage feel to them. The pantry you see behind you, it actually looks like wood, but it's made of solid metal. It's just been painted and brushed in such a way that it looks like wood. It's a heavy duty door. When you turn the pantry light on at night, behind there, through the lattice and the frosted glass, it almost looks like a, like a French tavern that you'd see in the countryside. Everything inside this kitchen has been completely redone brand new cabinets. These floors are exceptional. You won't see these floors anywhere else. Every detail of this kitchen was put together specifically. 
For instance, take a look at the brick backsplash all the way around us. It's an identical match to the dining room and then what we're gonna see on the fireplace in the second living room. We have a copper sink with copper faucets and a copper pot filler over here to match our light fixtures. And even the light fixtures behind me are all with the same design style in mind. Right behind me, you see our breakfast nook. We've got this fantastic bay window arrangement that you can see for yourself brings in tons of natural light. It's a very inviting space for pretty much any time of day to sit down and have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Inside of here, we've got this fantastic chandelier that was handmade for these guys with the Edison bulbs in it. Gives us a really nice feel. Handcrafted table to go along with it and matches the rest of the house. We've got shutters in every window and that's throughout the house as well. The glass that we're looking at are full pane opening glasses. So you don't have the sliders and the weird things like that. Once you pop those open, they open up all the way and let max airflow through. The kitchen and the breakfast nook are a perfect pivot point for us to enter the second living space, what I've coined the library. The reason we call it the library is, as you can see, we've got these really nice built-ins next to the fireplace with shelves and it's nicely appointed with all these artifacts and antiques and books and things like that. And the way that they position the ladder over here kind of makes it feel like the old-timey ladders at the library. No library would be complete without a complete, full, luxurious coffee bar, as you can see right behind you. Of course, this is a living room at the end of the day. So over here on this side, we've got the mega large screen TV for all your football watching pleasure on Sunday. And the fireplace. You'll notice that the fireplace has the same rustic feel as the other living space. It's really well tied together, even all the way down to the hearth on the fireplace itself. Remember a few minutes ago, I told you about something really exceptional in this house that you're not gonna find anywhere else? Well, that's in the master bath. But before we get there, let's go check out the master bedroom. This is our master bedroom. As you'll notice, just like in all the other rooms in the house that have a fireplace, we've got our consistent brick veneer and rustic wood mantle. This is the third <laughs> wood burning fireplace in the whole house. You notice they're all the same. We've got the same, the consistent large tile floors in here as you see in every other room in the house. Great high ceilings and a, an absolute flood of natural light into this space. All the furniture that's in here is very large and it's antiqued with that kind of patina color to it. These were hand selected for this space. Why does that matter? Because if you buy this house, you might get to keep them. Next, let's go check out that master bathroom I was telling you about. The first thing you'll notice is this has the same floors that you see in the study and the guest bedrooms. It has that antiqued kind of cultured wood that looks like it's been shipped around the world. The two features that really stand out in this bathroom that you won't find anywhere else are the full custom copper tub and the potbelly stove. Now, the potbelly stove has a classic look to it, but don't be fooled. It is remote controlled, it's all electric, gives plenty of heat, lights this bathroom up, and it's got a really nice fire glow to it at the same time. Finally, let's finish off in the backyard. Welcome to the Oasis. Finally, we made it to the backyard. There is so much here, so much more than meets the eye. Let's start at the back. We've got two and a half tons of avocados that come out of this avocado grove. Coming down the hill from the avocados, down the hill, the super well appointed hill with all the natural California wildflowers on it, give a really nice backdrop for us. We can make as much noise as we want back here. It creates a lot of privacy. We've got a built-in fire pit, stamped concrete all the way around, and a custom-built pool. What's great about this pool is it keeps itself warm year-round, aided by the solar water uh, pool heaters right behind me on the, the roof. This pool gets to about 97 degrees in the summertime, so that's pretty much hot tub water if you want it that warm. Every inch of territory around the pool has either been grassed or covered with diamondias. It's a really great ground cover. It's better than AstroTurf. You never have to mow it. it, takes care of itself, just needs a little bit of water. It's fantastic. Over here, you see these awnings behind the house, these pergolas. These used to be made out of wood, but they got termites and the owners decided, eh, we don't want that anymore. So they replaced it with solid iron. You'll never need to replace these in our lifetimes. In fact, you could lift a 
a car engine off the ground with one of these things. Every one of them is mounted with a hummingbird feeder and the hummingbirds are crazy back here. Well, that concludes our tour of the Storybook Home. I hope you've enjoyed it. One last bit I'll leave you with before you go is this home comes with a fully paid off solar system. So the owners have never had an electric bill since they've lived here. Not bad, right? That is just one example of hundreds of other things that we've barely even scratched the surface with with this house. So for more information or your own private tour, give me a call today. I'm Matt Honeycutt with the Whistle Realty Group. Thanks for watching.